Welcome to the Waldock Way. My name is Jessica and today's video is going to be a look inside our newly updated, revised, and expanded survival unit study. As with all Waldock Way products, if you have previously purchased this when it was summer survival school, survival school, or included in a homeschool bundle, you are entitled to all updates. So if you do not have your original email with the download link, shoot me an email at Jessica at the Waldock Way and we'll get you taken care of so that you can enjoy all the wonderful new updates to the survival unit study. Now, one of the things that we did when we updated this was to make sure that it only needed one required resource. And that required resource is the Bear Grylls Adventure Books. Now, these were the original adventure books. These are the updated adventure books. The content in both of these is the same. They just redesigned the cover. So whichever set you have is completely fine and will both work with the survival unit study. There are 12 books in the series. You can get them at the link in the description box. So whichever ones you have, again, will work fine. Let's go ahead and take a look inside the survival unit study. The first thing you're going to see is your table of contents. Then you have the page that includes your required and suggested resources, things like books, games, videos, shows, and additional activities. Then you have an introduction to survival and this unit study. The first lesson is about this famous survivalist Bear Grylls. And what I tried to do as much as possible to eliminate having to have more required resources was to do the research ahead of time for you. So this is an entire reading passage about Bear Grylls, like a bio. There are some discussion questions and then a QR code with a link for a video biography on him. A coloring Bear Grylls page. A biography of Bear Grylls page. And then you start with challenge one. Now there are 12 challenges. Each challenge is going to follow one of the Bear Girls adventure books. And you see here are the lesson plans. So you're gonna to need to read the book, read the survival handbook, which I'll show you in just a moment. Here is your YouTube playlist. You can either click this or scan this from a device. And then there's five days here. So on day one, you're gonna read chapters one and two of the Bear Girls adventure book and complete the backpack activity. That is this right here. So you're gonna introduce your child to the challenge and have them either write or draw items they think they're going to need for that survival. So this one would be the blizzard. On day two, you're gonna read two more chapters of the adventure book and you're gonna watch a video. Again, here's that QR code for you to make it easy. On day three, you're gonna read chapters five and six and complete an activity from the Pinterest board, which is clickable here. Or you can do one of the additional activities listed depending on what you have available. Day four, you're gonna read chapter seven and eight of the adventure book and you're going to play a game. There are games listed and there is a trivia game included in the download if you do not have any other games. On day five, you are going to finish reading this book with chapters nine and 10, and then you're gonna complete the tips for surviving. So once you have finished, you will have your child write out five tips that they learned for surviving a blizzard. Each of the 12 challenges repeats just like that with the Pinterest boards and the YouTube playlist all clickable or scannable for your convenience. And then once you have finished all 12 of the books and the activities, there is a survival review week so that you can review some of the survival skills you learned. So you have different things like completing the how to survive. You're going to make your own survival handbook, things that you learned about building a fire, creating a poisonous plants ID guide, creating an edible plants ID guide, tips that you learned for hunting, trapping, and fishing. And then you are going to do some knot tying practice. So there are different informations and how to with descriptions and diagrams in here for how to do some knot tying. This is the survival handbook. You'll be reading four to five pages out of it each week as part of the um, lesson plans and this is just an overview of survival it starts out kind of as a basic overview with first aid and building a shelter survival kits um, things like how to maintain a positive attitude 
building a fire, signaling, and then it gets more in depth with navigation, threats, um, edible plants, and uh, practical survival like eating the protein, snares and traps. So this is just kind of a very detailed overview of survival. So as you're completing the unit study, you'll be learning more and more survival skills from this handbook. And the last thing included is that trivia game I talked about. I printed mine on a brown craft cardstock just because I like the look of it and laminated them for longevity. But these are basically just survival based trivia questions. Like how can you determine the distance of an oncoming storm? And then there are three different multiple choice answers. If your child doesn't need any multiple choice, just ask the question. If they do, you can offer them to them. And the correct one is in italics with a dot next to it. So again, there are just different questions like which insect is the most popular edible insect in the world? You can see here it's a beetle. Which symptom determines if you're experiencing severe dehydration, vomiting, and diarrhea? So these are just going to be some trivia questions. It's a trivia-based game to help make sure that your child has learned as much as possible during their survival unit study.